<laughs> oh, Cowboys game is over. That's why we waited, okay? Because I know you're watching, all right? So they, you know, the game's over. So now you get to watch us, all right? So uh, Savior Health Sunday, like I said, I'm going to be doing these kind of at random for different things, different reasons, different people having on here, and I can't really see who all is logging on, but thank you for logging on um, and watching this. So I have Greg Miller's in town. That's me. Yeah, it's, that's this guy. So you see me wearing this shirt all the time and the other shirts with uh, – here, I mean, can we close? You see that logo? You're going to be seeing a lot more of that logo. Yeah, okay, that logo. Yeah, yeah. Um, so – you know, I'm involved with the clothing company. I have been for quite a while, okay, a couple of years, uh, as long as you've been seeing me wearing this stuff and the black shorts and, and all that. So, uh, and is, if you see me around town in the black uh, you know, three-quarter zip long sleeve that I'm always in, yeah, that's what I'm wearing, okay? <laughs> yeah, you know the one, because that's what I'm always in, right? Uh, so, this is the man that produces it. He makes it, okay? Um, I don't make it personally, but yeah. the company does. Yes. Yeah, his company does. Yes. Uh, he, he's a guy that created it. So when the process of doing all that and, right. and, and the, the patents, that's right. He has patents on clothing. Uh, don't know how hard that is. We'll be here for like the next five hours explaining how tough that is. Um, <laughs> no gadgets, just the way we construct the fabric, the engineering of the garment, and the fabrics we use creates the pattern. Yeah, and so today, uh, as you can see, the hashtags up there, one of them is Save the Tatas. So we're going to talk specifically about why he was in town this weekend. Uh, and the event that I had over a physio fit yesterday, anybody that showed up yesterday, thank you for showing up. Anybody else that didn't show up, well, guess what? You'll get to see these um, on the store shelves. You could have been first, but you're not. Sorry. <laughs> when I invite you to something, you show up, okay? You see new stuff that's not on the market yet, and you'll get to see it before it, gets, before it comes out, all right? So what we have here is we have created, uh, okay, let me go back a little bit. When we did focus groups, we created the lock for, for men was our original product, and that was a core stabilizing short. And when we showed that short to men, they fell in love with it, and Clint wears it. But the women who were with their men, the wives and the girlfriends, they're all going, wait a minute, wait a minute. You've got this little thing that needs support. Look at us. We've got you know here. We've got here. Like, build something for us. So we went back to our brain trust, and we basically created the lady lock, which supports the pelvic floor, holds your butt nice and tight, supports uh, your stomach. It's an amazing product. It's a high-performance product that CrossFitters are using, uh, Marathon are using, Muay Thai, Jiu-Jitsu people, even women boxers. This is a core stabilizing product that, that uh, will literally change your workout. Then we figured, well, let's go for the real uh, pie in the sky. Let's produce a lock bra. And uh, everybody went, oh, well, there's a bunch of sort of bras out there that profess to stop, bounce, stop, jiggle, everything like that. And we said, okay, fair enough. But do any of them, do any of them have something that takes the sweat and toxic waste away from your chest? The answer is no. All of those bras are made with synthetics. They's, and all of you girls know, as soon as you start working out, you're in a sweat swamp. Right, and you need to get that. Actually, you need to get that bra off of you as fast as possible, because I don't mean to be a little crass here, but metabolic waste that comes out of your body sweat is actually more toxic than urine. So I know it's kind of a bad thing if you're sitting there. It's like someone almost urinating on you when you're full of that sweat that you can't get off. And think about it, girls. Right? When you're sweating, your pores are wide open. Why? Because your body's trying to get rid of the toxic waste in your bloodstream. So when that toxic waste goes out onto your chest and synthetics that do not breathe, especially those ones with the cups inside them, there's a solid mass that's blocking the exit of those toxins. So basically, you're sweating to get rid of the sweat, but the actual sweat is not going anywhere, but it can leach back into your skin. Toxicologists told me that once the that once those toxins leach back into your skin, they actually end up in your bloodstream and they go and get deposited in fat cells. And we know what happens when toxins go into too many fat cells, it can cause a lot of problems. So we've created the first ever bra that stops, virtually stops bounce and is lined with active cotton. Active cotton pulls sweat immediately off your body. 
So this is a, a cotton lining, but it's not cotton cotton, it's active cotton. The difference between cotton and active cotton is life changing, life altering. Active cotton moves your sweat and toxins and heat away from your skin instantly. As soon as that sweat comes out and it touches the active cotton, the cotton actually pulls it. Now, in the old days, well, the old days, I'm talking about pre-active cotton days, cotton was boohooed because it was too absorbent, too heavy, too sweaty, you know, wore you down, everything like that. Active cotton is the exact opposite. Active cotton, not a, we use the sponge effect, the absorbance effect on active cotton to actually pull the sweat away from your body. So it's a one-way movement so that the sweat goes away from your chest. Your chest is actually dry when you're sweating. So that's what we've created, a groundbreaking workout differentiator about a bra that not only stops your bounce, but gets you toxically clean when you're sweating. How's that, Clint? That's great. I also, tell them about, you know, because whenever, whenever you're working out, okay, ladies, especially, you know, it's Dallas. We have a lot of women with implants, right? And we have a lot of naturally gift, gifted women out there. So whenever you're working out and moving around, they're moving around all over the place. You don't want them moving around. You also don't want them like squeeze tight, okay? Uh, <laughs> you don't want them just you know, jammed down and, and squished. So uh, tell them a little bit yeah, about the Yeah, the, the, the research, the research we went into when we did this was actually really deep because we, there and girls, you know this, there's two kinds of bras out there, sports bras, right? There's the uniboob one that just basically take spandex and just squashes your chest, right? Not good for your breasts. Actually, and then the second kind is an encapsulation bra. So they've created kind of a, a round form that goes over the breasts and sort of like separates them, keeps them, everything like that. But those need uh, shoulder uh, cinching in order to cinch. And unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you're looking at it, right? The bigger the breast, the more you need to tighten up that thing. So we have, I mean, and you girls all know this, half of you have indentations in your shoulders from bra straps. So that's the only way up until the lock bra, which you could actually support your breasts, either by squashing them or by uh, forming them and then cinching them up to your body. The lock bra has no, has no shoulder, no shoulder uh, adjustment. And the pattern was made in a way to actually sit on the breast and actually form to it without squashing it. So if you remember those old gladiator days when those guys had those perfect bodies with the six pack bra in bronze, right? And then as armor. So this is sort of that concept. We've created a, a form that sits on top of the breast, supports it without squashing it. And yet it is firmly held in place because of the uh, enormous pattern making design that we've created. So the, these are things that are tremendously important for all of you. And when we launch this product in January, actually right here in Dallas, we'll be launching it. Uh, we are going to be looking for possibly testers, uh, influencers, things like that. And we're, we're going through some people. And some of you watching this may be approached at some time in the next couple of months to potentially test this product. The last thing I want to say is that this bra is, because it's so unique, Right? When people put it on, they kind of go like, wow, like, oh, I'm so comfortable and I'm not squashed. Like, that's a huge thing for you. So you know that. Anyway, that's that's basically what we're all about here with the lock bra. Yeah. So I want to put that there because, well, it's October. We're about to have all the breast cancer awareness stuff, right? Everybody's going to be wearing pink, correct? You're going to be wearing all the pink, everything, okay? Uh, I'm sure if you're watching NFL, they'll be decked out in all pink because of Komen, all right? Um, well, instead of throwing some money at something and doing nothing for it, we have an answer for you, okay? You can actually take those toxins away from yourself, okay? For the, for the lady in your life, the women in your life, we have a way to actually help out with reducing breast cancer risk, okay? And actively doing it instead of just, you know, tossing money at something that's probably not going to pan out for anything other than some huge walks and three-day events and stuff like that. But if you only walk, guess what? have this with you so you can go walk and you're actually helping yourself while you're trying to help some other people, okay? Be active in it, not passive. Yeah, the last thing I guess I want to mention is for women who actually have uh, implants, this bra is the perfect post-operation bra because it literally, around those sutures, around the areas that are tender, right, there's no squash. You don't get squashed. And the active cotton will pull uh, blood, pus, uh, you know, leakage, and anything drainage that comes out. And I know that 
on the first three or four or five days, it's really important that the bra is supported or your breasts are supported properly because that implant has to seat itself into the pocket. Once, if you wear a cheap sports bra that just compresses your breasts, and all doctors will tell you to wear a sport, and they'll tell you to get a good sports bra, right? I don't know what that means, but what they what they really mean is that a bra a bra that actually supports your breasts without squashing them. Because you can imagine if the if the implant is in that in that pocket and it's being pushed, it's like it can be pushed up. And so that needs to so this is the perfect post-surgery bra as well. And uh, and then it's the, the best thing you could ever wear when you start actually working out and taking care of those new tatas, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, and on my side, as a trainer, okay, I've worked, I've worked with a few few women after they've had had those surgeries, okay? There's a lot that goes into that. There, there's a lot of support that goes into that, uh, postural support, things like that. This helps out with it as well. So this way, whenever you come after that surgery, you recover a lot quicker. We're not going to do as much retraction work. There we go. We're back. Okay. So once again, don't be squished. Be cradled. Okay. We just want to cradle. Um, be fondled. Wait, yeah. No. No fondling. No fondling. Um, okay. Sorry. We, okay. You just want to be, take care. Supported take, properly. Take, take care. Be supported. Okay. Love the tatas um, and everything else. So uh, Reg has graciously offered me a few little things here. So anybody out there that does yoga, uh, if you run, if you cycle, active um, quad and arm sleeves. The next three people that contact me. Uh, get your choice, green, pink, pink, right? You're going to need those or blue. Uh, just to try to smack your cotton on, on, on your arms. Once again, bikers, runners, yoga. Uh, if you do yoga, you're going to love these. So you can do all your, all your head, head, handstand and posing and stuff like that, okay? Um, and I may have a few other goodies, who knows? And, of course, you see me wearing this all the time, right? I've got, I've got solo pairs of shorts and shorts and shirts. I'm going to try one out, try one out uh, while you're here. But... Um, there's that. You have anything else for, for the people out there? No, I said we'll be uh, we'll be hunting some people down in the Dallas area, and like I said, we'll be back here in January to launch a brand new website called LockApparel.com, which will feature the lock short for men, the lady lock for women, and the lock bra. So those are the three items that's going to populate that website, and uh, I think it's 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 an amazing opportunity for you to literally change the way you work out and get supported in the proper way, and to reduce toxic buildup on your body. Yep. And for anybody out there that likes to test out the lock bra, okay, when we go into full production, send me, send me an email, send me a PM, something like that. Let me know. Uh, we'll get something out to you. You can test it out. Send us some feedback, send us some pictures. We'll start doing some some, some more video and, uh, and uh, uh, picture work as well here in Dallas with a few people you might know. Um, yeah, if, for anybody who wants a little more information on the lock rod, just drop a line to yeah. Clint and we'll send you out the little information sheet that you can look and you can sort of get a little more familiar with what the product does. Some testimonials from women that have already worn it and things like that. So Yeah, if you see me in the gym, we'll ask me about it. Go ahead, far away. I'll probably have the shorts and the shirt on. I'll tell you all about it. Um, <laughs> uh, later on. We'll talk, we'll talk about that later. But uh, for right now, just, we're trying to focus on the bra because that's the new thing. Uh, putting the lock out there. January is going to be the main launch. But anything before then, send me a message. And uh, for everybody else out there here in Dallas, uh, just to segue into something else. So I have a six-week program coming up. It starts on Tuesday this week. Okay. There, was, there used to be 12 spots. We've got like, I think, uh, four spots left. So you'd like to be one of the four lucky people that does some mind and body training with myself and, and Kim from E3, contact me. We'll get you in there. Okay. Don't miss out on this. Okay. It's, it's, it's a, it's a big, it's 90, three, it's $360 for 90 minutes uh, over, over six weeks for 90 minutes, you know, once a week for six weeks. All right. And you can quiz them about these products <laughs> yeah. when you're in there. Yeah. You might get one of those. Who knows? Um, so I, I got a lot of other goodies for you when you show up for that. So, there's that, right? Thanks for thanks for my pleasure. Coming, thanks my for coming pleasure. to Dallas. My, my pleasure. Yeah, I've been, I've been working with him for like four years. It's the first time we've met. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, the miracle of Skype. Yeah, the, the, the miracle of networking. Okay, he's yes. from Canada, by the way. All right, so uh, yeah, it's amazing who, who you connect with in life uh, over different, different, doing different projects. So. Beer. And we're really excited about this event and we're really excited about this product and so should you be actually. So this is the first chance 
anybody's ever had to actually have an alternative between a cotton garment and a synthetic garment. This is in the sweet spot. It outperforms synthetics and it has all the comfort of cotton. So it's a win-win oh, for yeah. everybody. Guess what else? No odor. It doesn't smell. <laughs> it does, seriously, I'm, I'm telling you right now, uh, my buddy, Ben Jones, okay? If, if you're seeing me posting anything about motorcycle racing, okay, my buddy Ben Jones, he wears the long sleeve shirt underneath his motorcycle racing gear, okay? Full leather outfit, out there in the heat, racing, okay? Hours and hours on end. He comes out, comes off, pulls off the, the race suit. Guess what? No smell, okay? It's amazing. So if you don't like stinky clothes, you're going to love this stuff. That's because active cotton doesn't trap bacteria, which yeah. synthetics do. All synthetics trap bacteria. That's where the smell comes from. So yeah. that's a more toxic waste coming out of your body, leaching into your clothes. No good. Yeah. This is also for a little closer for here. So take a look at this shirt. Guess how long? I've had this shirt for like four years, okay? Wearing it several times a week, working out, get it, working out in it. Um, still doesn't smell. Yeah, still doesn't smell. <laughs> uh, but look at the quality. There's no fraying. Okay, there's no tearing. There's no none of that stuff that goes on with most of the synthetic stuff. How, how long does this synthetic shirt last you? Six months, a year, maybe. Okay. That's because they want you to buy a new one real yeah. quick. So four years I've been wearing this, this and everything else I've got. Okay, I've got one little bitty tiny tear in, some, in one of my one of my long sleeve shirts because I wear them all the time. Uh, that was my fault. <laughs> the so, uh, but they're, they're highly resistant. I, I was chopping down a tree when I got a small snag, okay? It's chopping down a tree, okay? Uh, axes and some real axes, not chainsaws. I mean, I like axe. Um, anyway, so there's that. Thanks for tuning in. Um, you, you didn't realize you're, you're going to be watching, a, watching the boob tube, right, today? Right. So, um, sorry, about, sorry about the cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so... Once again, thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Reg, for coming to Dallas. My pleasure. Thank you for creating this awesome, awesome workout yes, here in, yes. in the Lock Bra. So, my yeah. pleasure. And uh, for everybody out there, once again, check it out and uh, get in contact with me if you want to see more about this. Get involved. Get some stuff for yourself to try out when we start going in full production and uh, be one of the first people to wear it before it hits the market. How about that? Would you like to do that? Yes, you would, because everybody loves to do that. You want to be first, all right, and be the healthiest being first. So there's that. Thanks for thanks for uh, tuning in with us.